Chapter 9 Shortcuts and Apple Pencil Procreate Version When you are in the gallery, tap on Procreate in the left upper corner to discover which version of Procreate you're working on. A new window opens with the version of Procreate. Tap on the screen to return to the gallery. Shortcuts Customizing Quick Menu you can also customize the quick menu. Choose from over 20 options for each button. Tap on advanced gesture controls and toggle quick menu on. Open quick menu on the canvas and press on one of the buttons you want to customize. A pop-up menu appears with all the options. You can also scroll down. Choose an action you want to assign to the button. If you want quick access to the brushes you work with the most, tap on Select Brush. A window appears with all the brush sets and inside all the brushes of Procreate. Tap on the brush you use regularly and assign it to the button. Connecting a keyboard. You can use the Apple Smart Keyboard or a Bluetooth keyboard to use keyboard shortcuts. Go to the settings of your iPad and tap on Bluetooth. First make sure Bluetooth is switched on. Under Other Devices, tap on the Bluetooth enabled keyboard name to pair it with your iPad. You get a Bluetooth pairing request. Enter the code on your keyboard and then your Bluetooth keyboard is connected. Keyboard Layout when your keyboard is connected, hold the command key to see the keyboard shortcuts in Procreate 4. Cut, copy, paste and undo have the same shortcuts as desktop programs. The other shortcuts you will have to learn by heart. These shortcuts are a great way to improve your workflow if you like to work with a keyboard on your iPad. Split screen. In iOS 11, you can also use the split screen and keep two apps open at the same time. If you want to use the Photos app together with Procreate, first open the Photos app, then open Procreate. Swipe up from below to access the iPad menu. Select the Photos app and drag it to the left or right of the screen and let go. You now have a split screen. You can adjust how big each app is by dragging on the grey handle between the two screens. Stave tip. This is a great way to use your app as a reference when you are painting your art. Drag and drop. In iOS 11, you can now drag and drop files into other apps. Drag and drop into the gallery. First make a split screen of the Photos app. Press on Select in the camera roll and select the photos you want to import in Procreate. Then press on one of the selected photos and drag it into the Procreate gallery. Drag and drop into a canvas. You can also drag and drop multiple images into a canvas. Select several photos and drag them into the canvas. The images are imported as separate layers. Drag and drop brushes and swatches. You can also drag and drop brushes and swatches into Procreate. Select the brushes or swatches in the Files app. The brushes or swatches are imported into Procreate. Drag brushes into a brush set. You can drag and drop custom brushes into a brush set. Open the Brushes menu and select the brush set you want to drop your brushes into. Then select multiple brushes in the Files app by pressing on one and selecting more with another finger. Then drag them into the brush set. Quick look. When you swipe up the menu bar in iOS 11 and tap and hold an app icon, you have a quick look of all the files that are inside the folder of your app. Tap on Show More to see all the files that are in your folder. 
Tap next to the window to return to your app. Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil only works with the iPad Pro and not with other iPads like the iPad Mini, iPad Air and the regular iPad. If you still want to use a pressure sensitive stylus, you have three options. The Donut, Pogo and Wacom stylus. If you've bought the Apple Pencil, you now have the best stylus to draw and paint with. But you first need to pair it to your iPad. Take the cap off and plug it into the lightning connector. You will get a pop-up menu with two options, pair and cancel. Choose pair to pair your Apple Pencil to your iPad Pro. With the Apple Pencil you can draw in two ways. If you hold your pencil upright, you will draw with the regular brush. When you tilt your Apple Pencil, you can draw with the side of your pencil and use the tilt of your selected brush. Especially when you're drawing with the pencil brushes, you see the difference.